Okay, if you're gonna say it, Mav, say it now. Go. George you had wait. You don't know your president? Say your president. Go. <laughs> okay, you do it like one more time and then I'm gonna do it. George, start. You taught me how to do this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna the John. And John. Who's next? Well, we got we need number two. Jefferson. Why would kids are shy? They be doing all of this. Right. That <laughs> brings more attention to them. Yeah, like, <laughs> yo, why are you doing all of that extra? Yo. Okay. You know okay, what's funny? Right, go over there. Go. Is that Bye. even even in in motherhood, Meg is just a stick in the mud. Like her son doesn't learn any of the new songs that are on Teach the radio. He's George Washington, John Adams. Like, really? You got him watching Hamilton? Let that kid be a kid. Hey, hey, hey ain't nothing wrong with Hamilton. Hamilton ain't nothing right movie. with it. Ain't nothing right Hamilton, with it. Hamilton, mid. You don't Middleton. like Hamilton? Middleton. He, he learned that at school. That wasn't me because I didn't even know him. Okay. Yeah, all right. Whatever. I didn't. I wanted to say happy, happy belated birthday, Pat. I thought yeah, I'd tell you. What did I you was, do? You went to Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> you do it like you tag? laser tag. Real funny. I went to Santa Catalina Island. Where's that at? It, it's the leggings capital of the world. You can get every type of leggings there. That nigga <laughs> went there and balled the fuck out. Ain't no leggings out there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was it was it, it's it's dope. It's not that far too. It's just like a little quick, quick little getaway. It's pretty dope. Did you go with somebody? I went with a click. I went with my, my childhood friends. It was like a whole bunch of us. We got like yeah. a thing house out there. Were they all girls? Yeah. No. Did you get any buns on your birthday? Uh, did buns. I get buns? Did you get buns? Uh, Do you feel like it's important? Like you have to have like birthday sex? I think that's all. It makes it more fun. It makes it makes life more fun. You know what I mean? But I mean. You 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 be having a dry birthday every now and then too, and that's cool too. You know, I had a, my last no, was, yeah, I had a dry birthday like two years ago. They it happen. Was, it happens. It was so it happens. Usually, but, it's from getting too messed up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like mm, I'm I just had, I just didn't have nobody. I was just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Remix. Oh, trust it. <laughs> you know what? I just threw both of them out away. I was like, I'm tired of this shit, and I what? threw them away. What? Oh, trusty. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, you, you, you threw your vibrators away? Yeah, I threw Why? one. I threw one away, and then I was like, I'm right, just holding on to this one. And I was like, man, I'm done. And I threw the other one away. How'd you decide Why? between the last two? Were you just like? Uh, the more deadlier one I got rid of first because that's the more addictive one. And then I almost fucked up because Farron has sent me an a, a email and I was like, Farron did send me an email. And I was like, and I was like nah, let me not go that route. And then the, the, then the other one, the least powerful one, I was like, you got to go. Bro. Gotta go. <laughs> I know women who refuse to get a rose because they don't want to get, you know, I know I hear women be like missing. I had one. Or... That's why I threw it away. That was the one. You, that was the intense one. Hey, uh, I walked in on the Why? Wrong Why would you throw it away? You never know if you're gonna need it, girl. That's the thing. I was I was needing it too much. It was like everybody's going out the party. Where you going? I'm going home to Rose. Like you <laughs> I hear that's how bad it was. Like women were like late to work and like not Is going it? out and stuff. Oh, so I was, like, I was using it like two or three times a day. Like ooh, well, it was a lot. Okay. Girl, I had to go. I was like, you messing up my lifestyle, so I gotta go. <laughs> the Rose was sick of Lou, just like. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> You're not yeah, even gonna know. charge me, bitch. Like, the door opened again. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you walk into your crib and your rose got a little intervention. Like, can you sit down, Lulu? Rose has something he wants to say. <laughs> Damn, man. I never love you. You a toy, bitch. I used you. <laughs> <laughs> I you know I'm 
mean the, you know how I many roses would be having interventions that niggas be like, I didn't sign up for this much. Hey, they gonna start having commercials like if you were a rose, you know it's been abused and injured. <laughs> <laughs> Big number. <laughs> and then it, it it messes you up when you actually do get with somebody because then it's like man, you ain't the rose man yeah, you ain't you can't right. and that's so sad nobody that's... nobody can be a rose exactly so then you just be like oh that was I cool can't, i can't compete with an alternator bitch i guess no way in the world <laughs> why not just add the rose and make it like it's like yeah okay. me and the me and the rose together. Here's, here's the thing. Okay. Here's now the thing, though. I tried that, Pat, and the dude was like, "What you trying to say? Like, I ain't enough." I was like, I, I don't care about that. I don't care. You just got to. got mad. So I was like, "Good, yeah, mom." I would suggest it. it, so it's like, "Yeah, me and the rose, <laughs> <laughs> not me or the rose, like threesome." I tried. <laughs> hey, Pat, throwing ideas out there. <laughs> me, you, the rose tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Come in with the rose on my shoulder, shoulder like a parrot. <laughs> it's like an evil rose and a good rose. Like, what, no, what you, <laughs> did you just get your own, Pat? You just start sending pictures like, hey, can me and the homie pull up tonight? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I don't know how many other brother. chicks you're using that with. I don't know how sanitary yeah, it you, is. Hey, no, nah, it would be theirs. It'd be theirs. <laughs> I mean, bro. chicks you think he's using his dick with. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wipe that bitch down. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> as many pussies as there are is probably how many. What do you mean? <laughs> is that, no, I gotta have my own. You gotta have, like, I gotta have right. my own. But then you go take a shit at Denny's. Nobody wanna hear that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna hear that bullshit. Get out of here. Very <laughs> good. Like, what if you would judge on the places that you've taken shits at? Nigga, I don't know where I would land. I'm going to be honest First with you. First of all, a classy bitch taking shit at a Starbucks. That, that's the one where you can respect. Like, okay. No, it's not. No, not at a Starbucks. It's a, oh. it's a lot of wanderers in Starbucks. Star hey, why Starbucks. Starbucks don't be as clean as you, you want them to be. Here's the best place to take a shit at. You go downtown or to, like, West, West Hollywood or Beverly Hills. Go to one of those good hotels, SLS. Mm -hmm. Goddamn, those are the best places to take shits in because they're even their even their lobby bathrooms are held to a, a, a higher standard. Don't ever go to the hospital because unless you're behind in the patient's rooms, that general hospital bathroom shit is garbage. Okay, don't they ever go to Guineas. Anything that stays over twenty four hours or stays <laughs> open from like five a.m. to like two <laughs> restaurants. Goddamn me. Uh, uh, Grocery stores, I don't give a fuck if they got that little chart there. Ain't nobody sticking to that fucking schedule and cleaning that bathroom every day. Please don't hour, tell me you nigga. didn't go to a hospital just to take a shit. I've just okay. done my research, my nigga. I've That's just the done best my research. Take a shit. I'm thorough. I'm just thorough. <laughs> Cause if I see something wrong, I'm coming right, right to the lobby. Like, hey, what's this right here? Can y'all look at this? <laughs> Can we run a test? And you gotta go. You gotta go. I brought a sample just in case. <laughs> Nordstrom got the best bathroom. Nordstrom they got do. some good bathrooms. Nordstrom's has some good bathrooms, and it smells mm -hmm. good in there too. It do. I like the Vegas Sky bathrooms. Lounge at the airport. The Sky Lounge, they got some nice bathrooms. Oh, the Sky Lounge bathrooms, especially LAX, they bathroom doors go from the from the ceiling. Yeah, to the they like the floor. Like you oh yeah, so you got extreme. I just smoked in that like bitch, that. and nobody even know. What? It makes you comfortable to shit. You like, oh, ain't nobody gonna see my feet or nothing. Not the nobody gonna you can hop in the shower at that bitch too. You can, oh, you know what? That was a crazy shit. Let me go ahead and jump in the shower real quick. Max. Yeah. Wait. I love that <laughs> How many shit you taking? I had, man, that was a crazy shit. I gotta go take a shower. I'm taking That's some insane. crazy shits. I'm yeah. taking some crazy shits, and I'll be like, I can't get on the, I can't get on the plane like that. Means that means it got on your ankles a little bit. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. It dripped down. It just dripped down. Potty. <laughs> wow. Just a little bit. I got the portable squatty potty. Have y'all seen that? You take the the portable I've never used squatty potty before. Squatty Wait, what is that? Potty. Squatty that? potty, like it just like lifts your 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 legs up so you're in that. Uh, oh, I've the seen that pooping position. Yeah, it's <laughs> lots I've seen that. It, like, it's basically mimicking a squat because that's. That's the best way to poop is to an actual like low squat. That's how the Neanderthals yeah, put a tampon they, in. It push your stomach. Something like it, it really make you empty yourself out. The it way lifts, we yeah, sit, you gotta be it like lifts your legs up like this. Just a little more. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, no, it's like a step. So you, so so you is it a road? Because you know how the toilet is hot. Like in foreign <laughs> countries, they might just have a hole, and you literally. Yeah, have to I got walk. issues. Like, hold on. <laughs> Lulu's gonna be addicting to shitting and rosin at the same <laughs> She's gonna be in the bathroom for 20 hours a day just oh, shitting man. and rosin back So to you can shit and use a rose at the same time? <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm sure some chick has done that. Oh yeah. Hell so no. so, oh, so oh, one, 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 one of them big Benny Siegel looking bitches. I'm sure <laughs> man. You know, oh, I ain't got shit going on tonight. I ain't got shit going on tonight. This, big, this is the perfect place for us to jump right into the first topic of the day. Uh, want to shout that changes. Out. I got a squirt. <laughs> About uh, the squirt. Shout out to the original squads all here. Pat, Meg, Lou, CP. I'm to hear more. We're gonna jump into this first topic right after this. First topic of the day. We have what was better. 90s fashion versus 2000s fashion. What did each one consist of? Because I can't remember. Yeah. You remember the 90s with the goddamn billbows. You had the, the short overalls, the long overalls. You had the Jodeci boots. You had the leather cross vest. Colors. You had the cross colors, Carl Kanai. The Carl Kanai shirts that didn't Starter have the sleeves, but had a goddamn hood on it. You had uh, cut off jean shorts. You were rocking the pants backwards like crisscross. You had eight ball jackets. I think that was still in the nineties. God damn uh, me. More eighties. Uh, okay, maybe in the eighties, but you still had it. You had a couple niggas that held on to it for a little bit. Feel me? Uh, what else we had? God damn. Uh, jerseys. People were still rocking jerseys then, but it wasn't like the throwback classics until the to the 2000s, but people were rocking the jerseys then. They were rocking uh, the, the I count hockey jerseys. jerseys. Like 2000s. That's Jay Z. Right. Back That's a throwback. Him. Those are throwback. But I'm saying people were still walking. They were walk, walking up, uh, rocking uh, the basketball jerseys and the hockey jerseys. Talking about the Boo-boo. champion jerseys. That was Boo-boo Boo-boo jerseys. Yeah. yeah. And then they was rocking their hats Boo-boo. like this in the 90s. They wore their hats like on the very top. Like that, and then yeah. women that uh that little velour tracksuit, the little fitted velour tracksuit, and that 2000. was that was two thousand two thousands. That was two thousands, man. Because oh. I had one. Yeah. yeah. Wait, we're still talking about nineties. No, yeah. that was two thousands though. <laughs> talking about nineties. That was that was all the nineties. You had the, you had a lot of the boots too, a lot of the boots. Nineties like a lot of a lot of leather jackets. Boots, leather jackets. Cross colors. Uh, Reebok uh, soldiers. You have the uh, 90s was a lot of bright colors, colors. a lot of super bright colors. 2000s was more like super baggy, big jeans, big tees. Yeah, you had these too. God damn it. Oh, yeah, I had those. Come on now, those were dope. Come on, come on now. We out here. Hey, I see that little guy. I feel like 90s is. Wait, are we talking about can we modernize these things or is this just like copy and paste wearing 90s stuff or 2000s stuff? No, we're copy pasting just yeah, like what 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 would you Pat, what would you have more fun dressing as right now from the I 90s? Feel like 90s. If, also, it's less recent. Like I feel like fashion comes in like waves of right. recycling. Mm-hmm. And I feel like 2000s is just now getting to the point where people are starting to wear baggy again, but 90s yeah. there's there's so many things that you can do that people would just be like oh that's the guy who dresses like it's in the 90s <laughs> and the sneakers was dope in the 90s all the jordans oh, yeah. that was dropping ken griffey's the air maxes and it's Every- cheaper lou jordan was going like hundred dollars back then like god damn can you imagine i know like, going back I, in I, re- 90s? I remember my brother used to be like yo i need some jordans or whatever or some sneakers and my dad like how much he'd be like 150 my dad like damn you want 150 dollars for some Jordans or something. Now they like 300, 250, you know? So I, I the 90s, I think is kind of dope. I yeah, and then like dope. the baggy girl clothes, like that was- TLC, it was so, early TLC. Right, TLC, like even um what, when Aaliyah had that, uh the Tommy Hilfiger bra with the, the baggy jeans. I wore that last week. That's, so, that? that's what I'm saying, it's so cute. I do yeah. think it's dope that '90s fashion, like 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 Pat said, '90s fashion is kind of back. So it's like, yeah. 
that's in style now to kind of dress like the 90s, whereas the, the 2000s, you look like a nigga that just got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a big ass LRG. <laughs> yeah, oh my you back God. On the stage. I know somebody that still wears that. Like every, the colors match from head to from hat to shoes. Oh God, that was a rough era. Pat, remember when I told you I went shopping at that one store? You was like, let me know when you wear one of those shirts. All of the shirts look like the shirts from the 90s. They look like they came from JW and J Riggins and shit like that. That look like a Gordon Go trail. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like a substitute teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get the Gordon Can trail. Yeah. yeah. Got all these bitches too. What's up? What's hot? What's happening, my nigga? What's up? Whoa. You like you going to uh house party? You look like I, you wear, I ain't gonna get the chance to wear them till next summer because summer over like in two weeks. But man, summer not over I there. LA. You gonna save those for a whole year? I know you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna put them in space bags. You Zip in like LA though? <laughs> like but it's a <laughs> summer <laughs> feel. Oh, you you wear that like bitch. You put on damn life insurance with those. <laughs> <laughs> Come it's here, my ass. Like I'm that, uh, ask you how many when you get the real life or how many? All right, cool. <laughs> 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 you the head waiter? <laughs> the host? <laughs> That's all they say, no high. Hey, listen, here's the Pat. I bought, I bought like nine of the bitches, right? Bro, tell me why don't none of the bitches fit. What you mean? Why would you go to the gym? No, nah, it's not that. It's not that. So I, I right, so somebody put me on. Is that that? Nick, somebody put me on. Was like, nigga, it's it's not that. It's, tell me somebody, why. I'm gonna tell you why, nigga. Hold on, wait, yeah, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. Off, no, it's not that. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Somebody put me on. Was like, nigga, Walmart got the lick on shirts, right? But you gotta buy online because the shit that I bought, you ain't gonna find none of that store. I, I didn't know Walmart was doing like what Amazon was doing, and they linked with these other like random ass businesses. So all that shit came from China. So the XL, which I bought, that bitch fit like a medium, nigga. So none of them shits. <laughs> Wait, so is that why you wait until next summer? You tried to make <laughs> <laughs> He said, nah, summer's almost over. I'm going to just wait till next year. Yeah, I'm going to just put in the space bag. You know, I'm going to take out the medium plan to here. Do you have some magical plan to be a medium by next year? I, I was, was going to give it a try. And they, they ain't nothing shaped by April. I was just going to sell them bitches. <laughs> you don't give fair in them damn shirts and leave that shit alone. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you ain't going to fit no Chinese medium. <laughs> You're trying to get Tell back him. to a sixth grade weight. If I can get back to my sixth grade weight. <laughs> I, I was in large grade. Sixth grade if I can get back to a school, a good middle school weight, I'm right back in the game. There you go. In middle school weight. I was so bad when I put the bitches out of that plastic and I threw that whole oh fuck me. Hey, bruh. So here posted one workout video and then I never see you work out again, bro. I, I don't really I don't do I don't do it like that. I like to like I like to like just show the results like pop up like damn you lost some weight. Like I don't like Ooh. to post shit every day because then people be like, oh you ain't work out today the first day you don't post something. They'd be like, yeah, you don't want I nobody holding you accountable. Week. Yeah, so I work. <laughs> you just say you don't want nobody hold me accountable, girl. Fuck you. <laughs> I ain't got shit to do with shit. Kiss my ass, Lou. That's you why I'm nobody holding you, hold you responsible. No, no, no. We need oh, somebody man. at Seven Eleven to be like to hear your cut off, and you be like, "What you talking about? <laughs> go get Sam." <Hey>, damn. <laughs> CP, we should go take his picture and put it around and be like, "Do not feed this man do after not nine p.m." This man. <laughs> Here gonna be outside talking home and like, "Go in there, give me two hot dogs, man." Listen, don't ask the question. Go in there, and give me two of them glizzies, man. And don't somebody, me. somebody said my next tour shirt should be say it's Seven Eleven somewhere, <laughs> like the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. That's funny, bro. You're going to be like, what? <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? You're not even really fat like that to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what people like who that. are all the way fat, it's not even worth talking about no more. It's people who are no, in the to hear is like portly. It's, he's not fat. He's a what, fat what's portly? What is portly? That sound like a nigga that's full of chili. What does that sound like? That, I mean, that sound about right to hear. Yo. He looked like Yo. portly. 
I know what people be trying to say. Well, people be like, "You ain't even that fat for real." It's it's still a backhanded comment. Like you ain't even you ain't even that fat, man. I mean, oh you, my gosh, you are poorly. It says ha- having a stout body, somewhat fat. Oh my gosh, stout. Dude. You have a stout, having a stout body. body I'm like a like a That's stout I mean. beer, like a glass. You know what I'm saying? Like a stout yeah. beer? Like no, you feel stout. Like, hey, you feel like Howard the Duck. <laughs> all these all these adjectives have hilarious roots, like stout <laughs> and portly, like a port is where you park boats. <laughs> you got a, a boat <laughs> parking body. <laughs> Howard the Duck, hey guys. Hey, these are the 2000s, right? Howard was sick, man. You see, Howard used to come through like, hey, Howard was, Howard was, hey, because a lot of like a duck leather jacket, like eighty percent of their body, a duck is only ass and chest, and then it's like legs happen somewhere. But a duck is ass ass and chest. chest. Hey, Howard the Duck have that leather jacket though, like precisely. That is to hear his body. That is very much to hear. Hold on, on. wait, wait, wait. This is gonna fuck you up, CP. Hold on, this is gonna fuck you up. Go put on a leather jacket. Black leather jacket. I Howard the Duck. <laughs> I used to love Howard the Duck. That was such a magical movie to me. It was. I was like, man, oh man, I but man. You yeah, have you watched it recently? Me. Yeah, it's bad watching it recently. It's creepy. <laughs> yeah, but you know what else I used to like? Remember, uh, no batteries included. Them little aliens. That was that- my joint. Yeah, yeah. and, and they movie. like fixed up the Bronx. Every time I go to New York, I'd be like, where the fuck the robot did? New York has <laughs> robots again because they neighborhood. <laughs> What's the uh? Nigga, ain't this the shirt that Howard the Duck wore? I think it is with the little feathers on it, with yeah, the little, little leather. You need the A, hey, bro. Halloween is coming up to here. Fuck you, man. That's a ball <laughs> shirt. He just thought That's he was going shirt. as himself for Halloween. Meanwhile, <laughs> y'all having a good time. Like Howard the Duck. Everybody's having a great time, man. No, that's a Chinese medium, remember? <laughs> you got to uh... you gotta leave the buttons open. Just... <laughs> Nigga, but next Halloween. <laughs> yeah, we're there like a do-rag. Fuck it. <laughs> Everybody's having, you guys are having a ball, right? We're having a glass, we're having a glass right now. Everybody having a good time? You know what brought them damn uh, Barbie shirts out? Like, yeah, look at these little shitty ass shirts, man. These are Walmart. These are all at Walmart, man. I got a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> invite like me to the party. Like, you know what, bro? I don't need you to come tonight, man. <laughs> hey, we and we good. We good, my nigga. We got capacity. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh, it's a nigga with the capacity. Ah, we got capacity, my nigga. I can't hear you. Know it's it's breathing room only in that bitch. <laughs> Why well, I'm out here. Uh so what, what what we feeling like, man? Nineties, two thousands, two thousands. You had a uh, Fubu. You had throwback jerseys. God damn me. Oh, Fubu was more nineties. Uh, the two tone Fubus. Fubus was platinum early, Fubu. It was like in the in the nineties, early two thousands, wasn't it? It was yeah, but it was more like nineties was the heyday. Which one like got your bow? Prominent two thousand. Two thousand. Which one got your bows? is two thousand. Cause it was for the nine nine and two thousand. I felt like, oh yeah, it was. It was like in the nineties, early two thousands. Mm, I'm going with the nineties. Let's do nineties. Me too. Nineties. Nineties had the dances too, man. Nineties was just lit. That was the last time that America was fun. Was the nineties. Mm-hmm. Really? Yes. <laughs> Make America great again yeah. in nineties. Should be talking about the nineties. It's, it's been very. Think about it. Nine eleven happened in two thousand and one, and life has not been the same since. My life is. Mm. <laughs> what? Today everything changed for me. I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah, man. she had to deploy. Yeah, they said, "Oh, she does." She was, she was on the army every other weekend. I'll be back, y'all. See y'all next week. Oh my gosh. And y'all was, you were so young in 2001. I was a baby. I had like- 2001? Huh? 2001, really? I don't know. Stop oh, bringing up your back with the chest on your hair. I mean, the hair on your chest. <laughs> no, I'm saying from 2000, cause they, you have to go to the military so young, girl. That's like- No, I didn't go, I didn't go overseas until like 2005 though. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Yeah, around that 01. time. Yeah. yeah, where was y'all at in 01? I was in college. Me too. I was a baby. I didn't graduate. I didn't graduate high school though, too. I was in middle school. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why we laughed at that. 
Dog, I swear, <laughs> O2s was was a, was something else, dog. Man, we had a blast, bro. Bro, O2s was some of the wildest niggas I ever met. Like o, O2s when I like, yeah, O2 was a wild time. O2s, they had like y'all did y'all did high school for real. Like y'all did it like it was a movie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like I was an old one. So we was kind of like having babies and shit, you know, crack. Y'all was really like, you know, what <laughs> what <laughs> like what you know. Doing shit? I was like, damn, we had a good balance together. I was work. I was working at White Castle. White Castle stealing from White Castles and buying. <laughs> I started selling weed for two weeks, but I was buying the weed from my manager at White Castles. But the nigga didn't teach oh, me how to like. Is that the back story you told me about where they where they caught you stealing them White Castles because they had to do an X ray on you and they found all the burgers? <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Is that true? Oh my gosh, really? They found a bunch of hamburgers oh missing, so they put the here in the x-ray machine and they found all the burgers. <laughs> 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 they're like, oh, they're in his stomach. He already ate them. <laughs> hey, bro, hey. They were just like this hey, stacked up in the x-ray? You, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we can't do it's too late. We're too late. Yeah, it's best in their life. See, see that right there? See that little clump? That's a burger. Let me show you some over here. Now I see they were whole. They were just whole in the esophagus, just lined up on top of each other. Like He's eating like biscuits. Like a fucking <laughs> like it was a pez dispenser. I he was a pez dispenser. Yeah. You got a pez Every time you burn, hey, wait, Lulu. <laughs> he go home and shoot him to the family. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Hey, it was a burger know. smuggler. I think it was smuggling them bitches about it. <laughs> <laughs> here, they still hot. Yeah, yeah. I, I just made these. I just made these. Yeah, everybody's having a good time. Lou, you having a good time, huh? You having a good time. <laughs> Lulu, Lulu did it. Cause I, I remember, didn't do remember, nothing. Nigga, hey, remember that time they had that loop on my ass? Remember that? And if that was a whole fucking thing? <laughs> remember that? Yeah. <laughs> It makes you, hey, I forgot it, about that. How has that not been clipped? It makes you evil. Clip. <laughs> the shit makes you evil. We need an animated clip of the Lufa story. Yep. <laughs> I'm good with that to hear. Don't take no damn here to your albuterol in front of us like uh. I'm not poor. Oh, we make it to hear breathe oh. heavy. I'm just weather. I'm sorry. The white castle talk. This weather been fucking my asthma up. <laughs> Have a little that was bacon air. That, you, that was like mist of bacon and bacon air. Lulu, you got to know when to stop. <laughs> I like bacon. You, quick nice fix. you got a flavor inhaler. First of all, that's genius. Yeah. A lot of these kids is not keeping an inhaler with them. But if you, but if you tailor made it to their flavor, a little cheese pizza inhaler. Yeah, bacon inhaler. A, a little glizzy inhaler. Way. Not glizzy. A glizzy inhaler. Bake oh, inhaler. Man. Bacon inhaler. <laughs> See here, you like that? It's not pork. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> hey, on my ass you. today, nigga. I can't even front. <laughs> we missed you. That's all right. Hey, you been gone. So welcome Damn, back. Oh my ass today, bro. Bacon I put it to a vote, nigga. Nineties. Bacon inhaler. Everybody say 90s. <laughs> All right. Well, 90s, 90s uh, fashion wins that one. We're going to jump right into this next topic right after this. Next topic of the day, we have what's worse, eating food with a weird texture versus eating food with a weird smell. Oh, that's a tough one. That's not. It's easy for me. Because to me, I, I like, texture-wise doesn't bother me. It's if because smell and taste buds have some kind mm-hmm. of link. Yeah. So if it smells yucky, then it's going to taste yucky, at least in my mind. Like, well, what about all the stuff that doesn't smell bad, but it has a weird texture, like tapioca? Or, I, I love tapioca. I don't have a problem with it. If, Even like okra. Okra is slimy, but it tastes delicious. Yeah. I love okra. What about like clams? All of this, all the shit you got to suck. suck and delicious. The oysters. Delicious. I love oysters. I've I've never oyster had oysters. Boys. Oh my gosh, you'll love it, girl. Yeah, no, oysters. Like imagine the way it looks. Oysters, nope, like I'm imagine back. like an ice cold click with some um snot <laughs> with some snot on it. Yeah, it tastes oh, like a deep fried snot. 
Loogie. No, no it doesn't. Oh, so it's like an ice cold clip with some lemon juice. No, it it's fire. I don't want that at all. It's like a lion. You should have like a ball sack. Ball sack. Like the ball sack. That. Just suck on the ball sack and then uh, on none of that. Y'all on y'all on y'all on one today, boy. Y'all feeling good, huh? <laughs> Hell nah. But then there's food that like stinks really bad. Like, what is it? Have y'all ever had durian, that fruit? It's not like armpit. No, what's you don't even it's, honestly it's, the consistency from what it looks like look like I wouldn't yeah you see how they like tearing in the party be all clean it's like meaty yeah yeah Can't what is this what durian is that spiky yellow fruit it stinks uh, it smells like that, armpit uh, I can't do it it's not allowed on planes. It's like banned in a bunch of places because of how oh, stinky, really? how smelly it is. Yeah, it's really I bad. Mean, one God time, damn. my uncle tricked me, and he was like, "Yo, you want this steak? It smelled fantastic. It was it great. Was Took a bite, and it was rubbery. And when I was like, "What is this?" He's like, "It's turtle." And I was like, "Never again." He gave you turtle steak? Yeah. It looked like a steak. It, he, yeah, it, it was cut up, and it was. He was like, "It's turtle," and I was just like. It was the meat consistency was like chewy. Yeah. Like like oh. uh, calamari chewy. Yeah, like it was like it felt like it was like extra well done. And I was just so, like, why wait, I wait, this calamari thing? chewy is different from like alligator chewy. Was it like alligator, like super? I never had game? alligator too. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's crazy is I talked to a hunter like a couple weeks ago that said how you know how everybody like when they talk about different meats, they're like, oh, it's really gamey and it's really mm -hmm. chewy and stuff like that. I always wondered, like, why is anybody like that? But I was told that people who say that can't really cook that well. Like, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to cook different meats in different temperatures and stuff like that. It should never just be like super chewy and yeah. like nasty, because that's like that. No, who wants that? Like he said that he had like deer and moose and all this shit that was fall off the bone because it was cooked right, mm. which doesn't make me want to eat it anymore. But still. <laughs> But see, here go the thing though, Pat. Some of these animals, their diet lends to them having a different flavor of meat. Like, I feel like lamb, I don't care how you oh. cook lamb, it has a certain taste to it, which is not bad. I but you it. feel you eating lamb, and there's no way it's to cook that. Armpit, like, it's, it's a little armpit like, it's a little armpit. It's a little bit yellow. like gamey, right? But then, like, also like liver. I don't care how you make mm. liver, I can't fuck with it. And people feel like, you never good. had my liver. No, you don't understand, yeah. my nigga. I, I don't like. My it feel like it dissolve, it disintegrates like once you start chewing it. It's just like a, yeah. it's like if you chewed red wine, it has a dry yeah. taste to it, but it's good when you season it right. Ah, oh, I just right can't do it. Right, right, right gravy? No, no, organs. no organs. Get some rice with that shit too. Ooh. It tastes like, it tastes like shit. And I don't even know, know what shit tastes like. Talking. I'm like, man, I can't. Ugh. I love, I, I ain't had it in mm -hmm. years, but I love liver. Put it like this, my wife likes liver, but we, we're not allowed. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, I ain't no liver coming in this motherfucking. I got liver and onions, I don't give a fuck what it is. Liver and cash, I don't care. We're not, we're not fucking having it. Like, I'm sorry. Like you won't cook the old lady no liver? Hell no, nah. what? Cold. You ever had goat? Yeah. I love yeah. goat. I had curry goat goat, all goat and week. lamb to me have the same, like almost stinkiness to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, I, I see, say, that's the thing. I can eat something stinky. I ate and I just like hold my nose. And I don't I'm eat fucking it. older, you fucking three year old. You're not taking I get it done. Diamond Tap. Just eat the yeah. fucking food. First of all, I remember Diamond Tap was delicious. That was, that was like the first one. Diamond, Diamond Tap was, was so like, good. I'm, I'm sick, mama. I need a shot of that shit. That's the start of lean. That's you, a lean, was. right? <laughs> Uh, we never got Diamond Tap. Diamond Tap was expensive. My mama got the Walgreens brand cough syrup, and that shit was horrible, nigga. The red or the grape. That shit was horrible. That children's Tylenol, that joint rock, yo. Oh, children's Tylenol tastes like straight up sugar. Yeah. It tastes like melted suckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I miss some Diamond Tap. I'll put some Diamond Tap. I'll pour me a four. <laughs> A four? <laughs> Milliliter? Four, four. four. You know the little lines? Four. <laughs> hey, this nigga is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> yeah, all y'all, all you guys have had goat and, and lamb, right? Have you guys fucked that boat? Goat Too is chewy. way more chewy than, than lamb is to me. But now I'm wondering like, if they cooked it yeah. wrong. Well, I, I'm, I'm, 
my, all, most of the goat that I've had has been in curry, like curry goat. I've never had yeah, goat that's in the other why type it's of way. chewy like that. Yeah, it, it, I had it, goat in Iraq and it was fantastic. It wasn't chewy, it wasn't gamey. It was like a goat shish kebab. And that joint was fire. Really? Probably, that's so y'all wouldn't kill him. They're like, here, take the our finest shish kebab. <laughs> you had M16 on you. But you look, also got it from the Middle East. I feel like it would it would have to be the best there. Right? It was amazing. In, in it Los was Angeles. Amazing. You I probably got that from KFG, huh? Kentucky <laughs> Fried Goat. They, they shit over there. Anyway, hey, um, I I shut like, up, bro. What? <laughs> Kentucky Fried Goat. Yeah, call it AFG. Welcome to AFG, Afghanistan Fried Goat. But look, <laughs> um, I've never, I've never liked curry season. That's another thing that I can smell. Really? And I can't. But wait, can't. but wait, 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 wait. What, what kind? Because you know, there's, there's different. There's a green curry. There's a yellow curry. Is like Asian curry, curry, you don't like any of curry. It? I don't like the yellow curry for sure. And I know everybody yeah. love it and I can't fuck with it. Like when I go to the Jamaica spot, I get the jerk before I get the mm. curry. I can't get no curry. I, I get jerk. Okay. Do you like yeah. spicy food, CP? Uh, jerk. I love spicy. Okay. Like jerk is spicy a lot of times when you get it, but it's that curry is just like, you know how sometimes some spices taste like, uh, like a mineral or some kind of like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I can't explain it, dog. Some shit just tastes too foreign. It made me feel like yeah, somebody, man. I don't know. I just be like, all right, man. <laughs> That's too foreign. Hey, look, I saw that nigga about like to go to so different, so many different roads that was gonna get him canceled. He just bagged up, was like, I don't know, man. Too foreign. <laughs> too foreign. <laughs> I was gonna say a lot of shit. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> back and back. Let's pull that bitch all yeah, back, man. We, we get it. There we you get go. what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real, real was dope. Yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. But I say this though, just, just to be fair, I never forget in fifth grade, our school had a um a world like a, a world potluck. Every class was like a different country, and you would go to mm -hmm. the classes and eat the little whatever. And when we got to Africa, I was like, nope, 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 nope. I can't fuck with none of this shit. They had like fish with the eyes in them. Oh, they yeah. had like people love the eyes. Like, uh, yeah. shit. The monkey bread was fire, but they had this little shit where they was like. Take us a bread and sop up some grits. I was like, Give wait, me hold on. What country was that? Some monkey? part of Africa that we were into. No, monkey bread ain't from Africa. <laughs> Who? Where that was racist. From? That was racist. Somebody Damn. did. Maybe. Where's monkey oh, bread from? Where's monkey bread from? It's like an American invention, I guess. Or so. it, it's definitely not. Oh, uh, let's look that up because it's not even no monkeys indigenous to America. We don't have monkeys. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. Why no, we have it's their not bread, called man? monkey. Why would we have Maybe he's talking about fufu, Mo. They're it's, not I, even I, 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 It might be it's talking about fufu. It's not called monkey bread because of monkeys. It's called that because it looks like brain. Next thing you're going to be telling me is that it's not called monkey pox. Because it's, look, we have their pox. We have their bread. It comes from them. Anyway. It's uh, racist. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Out. It's racist. I'm looking it up right now. Monkey bread. Monkey bread. <laughs> <laughs> Plucking cake, pull apart bread, or bubble it's bread. It's from yeah, Hungary. And yep. who in Africa not hungry? If you look on the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> <This thing is stupid. laughs> and it's actually called monkey bread because you pick the apart the bread like a monkey mm -hmm. would, not because of the monkey brains. Exactly what Pat said. Wow. So exactly <laughs> what Pat said. Shut I up. love how Meg don't even say my bad. She goes, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. But no. Nah, oh, okay. I learned something new. Oh. Right. Right. Oh. What I did like, I, I like the Egyptian food. Like they had like a lot of like dates and honey and like shit like that. But mm. like stuff from other countries, I think that we have to be like I like Taco Bell more than I like a lot of natural Mexican restaurants. Is that crazy? I do too, That's but right. only because I grew up in Kentucky and there was no real Mexican places. Taco Bell was our Mexican. Right, right. Taco Bell's not even a real Mexican place. It's That's like what I'm saying, but I but it's yeah. a, it's a, it's an acquired like I grew up with that kind of Mexican food in Kentucky. So in my head, like it's it's nostalgic when I eat it. It's not necessarily that it's better. It's just a feeling. Oh, it is better. Sorry it is better. for you. It's you said what? Better. I feel sorry for you guys. I don't, cause I also grew up with like all that good Southern food, and That's and I know true. in Cali, so y'all you didn't have real Mexican stuff. food though, Holmes. Come on, I have. It's really good, but I'm just saying it just doesn't remind me of home, which is nah, like. Taco if you guys Bell. prefer Taco Bell than the real stuff, 
can't get with y'all. But that's the thing. I don't think it's supposed to remind you. Can't get with me, nigga. You're not, hey, you're not from Mexico. Over a lot of shit. Let me tell Taco you something. Taco Bell is not from Mexico. But that's nigga. but it, it makes you think of home because that's all you had. But that's all we had. You're supposed to right. be. Right. I thought it wasn't I thought a real they Mexican were restaurants in the middle in the Midwest back then. It wasn't a whole lot of Mexican people in when the I, Midwest. When I came out yeah. to LA and went to a taco truck and they gave me them little small ass tortilla tacos, mm-hmm. nigga. I thought they were trying to cheat me. And yep. I was ready to flip this fucking truck. They ain't Fire. giving me sour cream, my nigga. It wasn't like, they didn't have like- They the adjust the prices though. Nigga, I was like, oh, y'all got me fucked. I was like, hey, where the sour cream at, bro? They gave me a bag of radishes. Sour cream. that shit back and, at that bitch. And like, actually to hear, to hear, it's called the Supreme. And yes. you know, you wanted a Supreme. And, yes. and it's just like, no, you know, we speak Taco Bell. But listen to me, man. When I realized Taco Bell was making up their own shit, like there was no Mexican pizza in Mexico at all. As a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, not even a pizza. <clears throat> Did not know that. Uh, it's a it's a beef torta. Yeah. Right. It's a yeah. beef to, it's a bean chalupa. It's so good though. Yeah. Or a, a bean a quesadilla. Chalupa? A bean quesadilla. They for the brain. Apparently, that too, you don't put no tomatoes it. on tacos. They they gonna Mexico. bring that bitch back. That that they they brought the Mexican pizza back to get the fanfare back up. When they bring it back out, that bitch gonna be twelve dollars by itself. That's that's the whole thing. Oh, the meal gonna be seventeen ninety nine. They got his churros. I tried to order some cinnamon twist at this little uh, spot up here. They're like, "Sir, get the fuck out." I was like, "All right, cool. I just want some twist." The Mexican pizza go back away? Did it go back into hiding? Yeah, everywhere you go is gonna say sold out right now. We don't have the. Ingredients you can pre-order it to here. Go ahead and pre-order your Mexican pizza. Pre-order. <laughs> hey man, let's go ahead and put it to a vote, man. We going with food with weird texture or food with a weird smell. Fuck, Lou, subscribe. Lou, for, I hope you come out tonight, Lou, because I want to. I want to fight. I want to tussle. <laughs> yeah. You gonna make her come out. That's all she, she's like, what nigga wanna smoke? <laughs> she laughing like, I'll be there at like 8.30. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what we going with? Get a good man? workout in. What was hey, it? What was what was the topic? Just Mexican to see pizza food. or chalupa? Nah, food with a weird texture or food with a weird smell. Oh. I'd rather have a weird texture. I'm going with weird smell. I go on weird smell too. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, what is it again? <laughs> Which one's right? Rather, I'd rather eat something with a weird smell than a weird texture. Same. Oh, weird smell. I'd rather eat. Which one would you rather eat? Okay. Yeah. I'd rather, no, eat, I'd rather eat one smell. with a weird texture. Yeah. Can't do that. I have to go texture too, because if this if it's got a weird smell, I'ma taste that smell. Like like Meg said, like oh, it's connected. Know. Yeah, fuck out of here. But really. eggs, even eggs have a weird smell. And Y'all eat people. vagina. So how are you gonna sit here and say it's not I'm supposed not... to have a weird smell? No, he's so saying texture. You. He'd rather eat something with <laughs> Do you hold your nose? Do you go like that? I the I, I hold my nose. The, the I just trick hold my is to bury your nose holes at the top by the clit and then just work uh, down. And then just breathe out of your mouth. You be fine if you breathe out of your mouth. Just breathe out your mouth. You good? Yeah, breathe out the side like like you swimming, like yeah. <gasps> little throw up, little throw up bucket. After you, after you swallow a little bit of that juice, you don't need to give a fuck no more. After you swallow right. a little coochie juice, you just like fuck it. I'm here now, nigga. Y'all can eat all that. No, he be buried deep into my pussy. His nose be all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to smell it. Thanks, see people giving me a heads up because girls be bragging, and I was like, ooh. That's what that is. No, no, nigga be trying to survive. (laughs) What Drake say, stay in the line, stay in the line. (laughs) Putting your whole nose in it is pretty unnecessary. It is. That's doing a lot. (laughs) What you doing down there, two cans, Sam? Get your ass up. (laughs) Pinocchio. (laughs) Tell a lie. (laughs) All of your nose. Lie Lie to me. Oh, uh, like, bitch, I'm a real boy. Oh, you know, <laughs> and Pinocchio never grew up, but he just like stayed a a, a puppet and was just, like dating and shit. Like, bitch, I want, I want, I would date Pinocchio. Oh, so you're a pedophile. Hey, bitches, bitches would be slick and ask him questions that they know would be a lie. Like, do you love me? He'd be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'd be like, I know. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
it looks like the weird uh, smell has this one. We're going to jump into this last topic right after this. Okay. Last topic of the day we have, would you rather have a side piece versus be a side piece? B. 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 Oh, yeah. Wait, what okay. was B? Be a side piece? Be a side, side piece. Like have a side piece or be a side piece. You would rather be the side piece? Why? Yeah, it's like it's like working halftime. And niggas think they think it's low maintenance. I get it. Here's the thing though. You know what I'm saying I don't know. Having a side piece, you you get to make the rules though, for the most part. You get to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I can see you there. I can't see you there. You gotta worry about somebody not following those rules though. Meanwhile, if you understand the rules, you just operate within your means and move the fuck right. along. Mm-hmm. I hear you. And I, no, and actually, I think I like that better. Yeah, being a side piece because then you're not the one doing the deception, right? Yeah. Like you're you you're not you're, you're still not, participating. You it, act like you act different because you're not you lying see, to nobody. I don't have I yeah. don't if, if I'm the side piece, I don't have the obligation to anybody. True. But if you have a side piece, you do have an obligation to somebody. Which means if that person find out, you're gonna be in trouble, not me. Yeah, yep, plus I'm that. too busy to have a somebody and have a side piece. And that's just too much. That's just too much work. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. about my schedule right now. Damn, if I had a man and a side piece, that's just too much. Hey. Wait, you have do you have enough time for a man like just one person? Right now? Yeah, right now. Not really. Not for real. So wait, Lou, you would prefer you would prefer to be like three different side pieces, three different nigga side piece? Would that work for you? Yeah, that would work. Man. Why do you it say works. she's like, yeah, awesome. I never think about it like that. This is like a revelation. Like, I was just like. You would be a serial side piece. Like, you just be like. like yeah. I, just side need, I, need like, I need like somebody to go on vacations with. Right. Somebody like chill with once in a while. And yeah. you know. And but that's only a need by need case. That, like, it's like a bat signal going up for you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like if I'm going. Case by case as opposed to all the time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm going on a trip, like, ooh. Boom, bat signal, like who can you come? Like, but besides that, like I'll be busy. I'm hey, I'm, I'll be the side dish. My nickname would be smashed potatoes. Smashed <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> How long you been sitting on that one? You've been waiting like two, for three minutes, waiting on everybody to finish what they were saying. So I go ahead throw that smashed potatoes in there. I ain't gonna, hey, well, I ain't got time to lie to you. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. But what if you catch feelings as a side piece? You want to see the person more and shit, and they be like, "Nah, you a side piece. Say where the fuck you at." You do the same thing you do when you catch a cold, nigga. You got to get rid of that shit. Play your part. Play your part. If I, if I know I'm the side piece and I and I start catching feelings, then uh -huh. I got to walk away because uh -huh. I, I already know what his you know intentions are. So why am I gonna play myself to try to make it be like we could be together? No, he already told you no. Mm -hmm. So I gotta fall back and just find a new person to be side piece too. Who, who, who here, who here been a side piece before? I was one, but I didn't know it until when it was over. And I was like, oh, was side piece the whole time. That makes sense. No, no, that's then you didn't know you it don't count because you didn't know. So y'all three have been known side pieces before. Yeah. I was I should have got awards with the way I did my <laughs> shit. I'm so low, I was so low-key, low stress as a side. Like mm -hmm. you ain't, man, listen, I ain't trying to stay. I ain't no, of course, I never understand you, my you welcome. You eat hot dogs for breakfast. That don't, that's very low maintenance, okay? That's true. <laughs> that's true, man. That's true. That's the problem. If you play your role too well, then they're not going to want you as a side piece no more. They want they you want to move on your main up. piece. Get promotion. But that's, but that's, that's, all, that's all, that's all, that's, listen, that's, that's all in the fucking plan. Like you want to be so fucking, like good at that role that like you move up the ranks and side piece because i mean if a person got a side piece they probably got more than one and like i just be like nigga if it's good i want to be the first call i want to smash one i want to smash two the fuck it, yeah but that's like that's like you work at taco bill and you go to school and then they'd be like you ready to be manager you're like man i just want my little shift and that's <laughs> my own work. right i want to have to call people and tell people where to be and do schedules i just want to show them up and you know, <laughs> had the little sour cream gun. Thank you very yeah. much. Pop, pop, you know what I'm saying? Like, shift. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who do y'all who do y'all think are better side pieces, men or women? Men. Men. Women. Nah, man. Men, listen. Why, why I, 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 this is why I say this is why I said it. Men get messy and these it's a lot of niggas that talk too fucking much. 
and niggas be niggas be talking and then they say something from the wrong person and and those and women know how to keep their mouth closed most of the time unless they yeah. feel us get in it same thing with y'all y'all get emotional y'all get real yeah, emotional niggas y'all niggas like they, well here's the thing women women will get emotional and they'll start talking but men and or start talking just because they brag and don't know how to shut the fuck up. Get emotional, don't know how to shut the fuck up. Get angry, but the side and don't know how to shut the fuck stay. up. The, you I say what? The side pieces still stay. That's why I think they're better. Like they'll know all the bullshit, hear all the bullshit, and hear it, and then they'll still stay. Men will be like, "I'm going. I deserve Listen, better. I'm a king." Bottom line, I think that I think men are more adept at taking instruction because of the consequences like a nigga can get his ass beat women kind of do what the fuck they want to do because they don't have that looming you know what i'm saying like it's consequences for going against the code <laughs> for, men. for a woman it's really not there's no real consequences like y'all damn get praised for stepping out your lane you fuck around get a book deal anybody buy no side nigga book deal why not? I would Why not? That. I'd read that. He was a side piece of like some like real profile Hollywood, like high profile. Like, women. Like, that's August career Alcina? suicide for him. That that's a career birth for a woman. That's career suicide for a man. You mean if to tell August me if Alcina Beyonce had a side a nigga book. and he had a book, that that nigga wouldn't be the most famous nigga. In the right. World? It'd just be him though. Right. It's, it's, it's not a it's, lot of niggas that would be able to pull that. Out. I mean, look how we acted with August Alcina. Like that nigga thought he was going to get all the praise. Like you a fuck nigga. Who the fuck smashes Jada? But Pinkett? if he would have put out a book, then you gonna go out and you if he he make a song about, about it. He got the album. He, he, he made a page. song about it. He made a song about it. But, but all, all, all the niggas that I know looked at him like, "What the fuck are you doing, bro?" Like people, what people, fuck? people sympathize when women catch feelings like that. There's songs about it. There's all kinds of shit. people sympathize for the woman and catching feelings in that regard. For a man, I don't think there's no. There's there songs gonna, about men being side pieces. Right, but them ain't, ain't they not hits. Others, whatever. They not hits. <laughs> they they are. Gold, probably. You know what I'm saying? They like it's, it's, it's like, dog, like, I think that as a man, you, you got to follow the rules. Women get to do what they want to do. Women and children. As a man, you got to kind of stay close to the rules of shit or else shit could get out of hand. If you a man with no discipline, it's different. I'm telling you. I think men are, men are better side pieces because y'all are. It's easier for a man to cut off his feelings and like at any moment this side piece ship can end. You know what I'm saying? Like also, you don't know. Also, most side piece situations are sex, and that's a men can easily detach emotionally from sex, right? Mm-hmm. You so you put a woman into a sex situation that's where a lot of her emotions are going to carry because that's like uh, we detach pretty, pretty easily at times nah, all, nah, I was I'm about to say, don't say we don't say we not majority well, I do. yeah well you no, got you uh double digit battle zone victories i don't think a lot of women are uh you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> your your war zone shit is insane you know what I'm saying? Your, <laughs> your kd ratio is you're a little different okay dear. <laughs> <laughs> i'm above one you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, 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 I'm in. I think women are better, but I think men pose like we're better with it. But I, 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 think I, so I yeah, I know a couple chicks that move like niggas. Like I've seen some of the dudes that they fuck with, and niggas be getting mad because this one chick I knew, she was telling me, she's like, you know, I'm the only nigga I fuck with. You're not even the top nigga I fuck with. She's so like, I can do me, but you can't do you. And she wasn't yeah. with these niggas, but she told a nigga like, "I can fuck other dudes. You can't fuck other. So you want to fuck other chicks? You got to find another chick to fuck with." Jesus. And that nigga stood there and, and took it. Damn, I said that to a nigga before. He must be a PA yeah, or something, nigga. <laughs> and, the way he on the, and the way he on the call, she's like, "Bitch, get the fuck out! What you doing? What do you think this is?" <laughs> hey, nigga, nigga took it though. Nigga yeah, took I bet it he though. Did. I just tell you, like, you ain't even number one on the roster, yo. You you coming off the but be but be real, but re be real. Y'all ain't talking to y'all favorite sides like that. Those are the dude. Those nah, are the yeah, you were talking to your can, favorite. Probably the, the ones favorite? you could do without. Like, do, you know what I mean? Like, I I feel like the the higher you get up, the more leniency you get. The, fa- the favorite get a whole different tone, a whole different. That's what I'm saying. That everything. was that was bottom nigga talk. But I'm gonna tell oh, you. Yeah, but- yeah. Cause you gotta check them sometimes. Like yo, you know, you coming off the bench, my guy. Like you talking like you starting out here. Like 
<laughs> you not people, even there yet, bro. People, I don't people, even want to go out in public with you, bro. People mistake sex appearances with sex appeal. Ooh, I like that. Wait, what does Sorry, that mean? Man. Just because just because you got it don't mean you got it. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, uh, so some people some people have worked on themselves so much that their sex appeal goes beyond that. And that's sexy too, to a woman, especially to a woman, right? A nigga who got his shit together first and not he out here fucking around, women can respect that. And that nigga ain't just no slouch. But a nigga who's leading with the dick, all I got is this, just be like, shut up, sit down right there. I'll fuck you when I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, mm -hmm. fucked up, Meg. Meg like, ooh. <laughs> I hated it. No, here. it's not that. I was now I'm listening. This is interesting. I've never had a side piece, so that's why I'm asking these questions. Hold on, real quick. Let me do this in my mouth. I no, I, I haven't. Let me tell but you. You why. can't do it. You can't do the, the smirk. No, but I wanted to do it manually. I, I felt like giving her a manual smirk. I had to activate my smirk. <laughs> Straight face. Uh. I've never had a that's why it's so intriguing. Here's the thing, because I'm too like, you, what's man. the word? I'm too um, possessive. <laughs> no, um, I don't... you know to the load. <laughs> no, I, I just, I, if I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. If I'm single, I'm single. And so, to me, there's no such thing as a side piece when you're single. So that's why I said I don't. To me, they're separate. But I mean, what about being the side piece and you single? Oh no, I. I've never been somebody side piece because I feel like I'm I'm number one <laughs> and only. So I mean, I've but never... even in even in like just regular dating, when you're just dating a couple of people, it's kind of like they're all your side pieces because they're not your main dude, they're not your main one. So you treat oh, so them that's all... what I'm saying. So if, if that's what we're considering side pieces, then yes, I I get that a hundred percent. But if it's like traditional side piece where one one party is in a relationship then that is what I don't understand. But being single, and to me, that's just dating around. Yeah. Like you, you get fucked so quick that and dismissed, you don't even realize you decide to. You go, what, what happened? That nigga back, <laughs> uh, back over here. Like, anyway, I was really, I <laughs> Woo! Anyway, so, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, let's put it to a vote. Would you rather be or would Nigga, you rather have? Like, Nigga, God damn. <laughs> well, y'all broke it down so elegantly. I would definitely like to be a side piece instead of B. having one. B. B. I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm Brett, a B. Brett, yeah, me too. Sounds I, like fun. I just do it because my friends are doing it. All right, so unanimous <laughs> on B. B a side piece. <laughs> That's been another episode of Squadcast versus man. I want to thank y'all so much. Big shout out to the uh, OG squad. We got Meg, Scoop, Pat, Cloud, CP, Lulu. Shout out to Pat. Happy belated birthday to my brother, man. We'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast versus. Peace, guys. Bye. Bye.